Hey everyone, this is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be reviewing the Granvella Multicolored Backlit Mechanical Eagle Keyboard. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, this is a backlit mechanical keyboard and this is going to be great if you're into gaming. There's many presets that you can use for games like League of Legends. There's also many different color combinations and patterns that you can customize and play around with that really make this keyboard stand out. Now before we jump into the review, I'll just let you know there's a link in the description if you want to check out this keyboard, find out the price, read other people's reviews, as well as full specifications. So definitely check that out if you're interested. In terms of how it feels, it's kind of on the heavier side, but that doesn't really matter, especially since you're playing games and it's not really going to be moving around. That kind of keeps it stable. At the bottom here, we do have a few features. So we have the feet and you can put these down if you like your keyboard to be more flat. You can lift them up if you like to have that angular look or feel when you're using it. It's also got rubber on the bottom on the other end, so it's going to maintain a stable feel when it's on your table. Now let's take a look at the colors themselves. So at the bottom here, the bottom row you're gonna notice is pink. It goes to purple, blue, green, orange, and then red. These are standard, so each one of these rows will be this color all the time, no matter which pattern you're using, and you can't customize them. But in terms of customizing the whole look of this, you can do that, and the way it works is simple. You just simply hit function, and then the letter M, and you'll see it just kind of changed over here. Now it looks like it's off, but this feature here is actually a following feature. So if you're pushing buttons, you can see that it's following across. Go with a lighter color here. And it stays on for a second or two, and then it kind of disappears. So it'll follow you while you're typing, and then disappear. It's kind of a cool feature if you do a lot of typing. Next, if we hit function M here again, and the M is actually the insert button, this looks like a little bit of a breathing pattern and you can customize it here. If we hit function and the left side here, we'll slow down the breathing a little bit. You can see it's slowed down. If we hit the function and the right arrow here, you'll see that it'll speed up and this will work with some of the other patterns as well. The next pattern here is this one and it's very simple. You can see that these arrow keys here are lit up as well as the arrow keys here. This is more for your gaming. If you do game and you use controls on the left or the right, those will just be lit up. The next option here, I just darkened a little bit so you can see the colors. It's kind of going inwards and outwards like this simultaneously. I don't particularly like this pattern, but just to show you guys, if you press function and up, it'll brighten the colors. Function down will lower the color to a zero and we'll just turn it back on here. Again, you can slow down the pattern by pushing function and back, and you can see how slow it's actually going to go here. It almost looks like it's not going to move, but there it goes. And again, speeding it up, same way. This next pattern here is a diagonal looking pattern, and it's kind of just pulling in, pulling in, pulling in. Again, I'm keeping it dark here so you guys can see the colors a little bit better. All the same functionality here, brightening the color, lowering the color, speeding it up. Everything's done like that. Function arrows, function M to change, and we'll just change one right here. And this one right here is a snake pattern, and it's pretty cool. So basically from the O, it's going to create some kind of pattern. I'm not sure what the pattern is, but what I like is the actual snake movement. If you ever played that snake game, it kind of runs around, goes to the O, and it's just gonna continue to do this even while you're typing. It'll start the pattern again. So this next function kind of breathes from left to right almost, and again, we can speed that up, make it really go fast like this. And uh, it's just like the breathing pattern, except it's going left to right this time. Now this next function is my favorite. It looks like it's off, but when you start typing, it kind of lights up. So it's going to be a little bit annoying if you do game a lot because it'll distract you while you're playing, but uh, I kind of find it cool. And uh, I like how it just kind of gives almost like a wave effect to it. So those are the patterns here. We'll just hit function M one more time and that's your standard on function. And from this standard color, once again, you have three options. So this is the brightest, you can lower it, lower it again, and then off. As far as presets are concerned, they do have some presets here. We'll just bring up the brightness once again here. And what you do is you press function and the number keys. So if we push function one, you'll see that these are lit up similar to one of the patterns where all your arrows are set up. And if we do function two, now we've got more things set up here. Some of the F1, F2, F3 keys, function three, function four, five, 
six, seven, eight. And function nine and zero are custom functions, and I'll just show you the ones I made. So if you have a particular game you like to play, and it uses specific buttons, you can customize these functions here to whatever you want. I also did function zero, so I did some of the purple, some of the blue, I skipped this whole line, and then a couple of the numbers. You can do whatever you want for whatever game you're playing. Now when it comes to typing, mechanical keyboards always have that nice sound. This one is no exception, so I'll just give you a quick listen here. And that's basically the sound of it. As I've used this keyboard, I found that it works really well. I haven't had any instances where buttons stuck or buttons didn't work or anything like that. In terms of gaming, everything works fine. This is going to give you a really nice feeling gaming keyboard that's a lot cheaper than the competition. The mechanics are as good as anything that I've used in the past. I don't really do a lot of online or PC gaming, so my experience with this isn't huge, but in terms of functionality, I didn't have any issues with this, and I don't think anybody would. So if you wanna check this out, again, there is a link in the description box so you can read other people's reviews, read the full specifications on this keyboard, and check it out for yourself. As I said, you're gonna pay a lot less for this as you would for some of the big name brands, and you're gonna get just as good functionality from it. Anyway, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, Instagram for updates. Don't forget to ask any questions that you may have in the comment box and I'll see you guys in the next one.